Alright guys, what's up? It's been a couple days, couple maybe a week since I've done a video, or a, a review rather. But, what we're going to be talking about today is kind of special. A little bit special. It is from Italia. Italy. Now, this is not my first Italian experience. It's actually, you know, second or third. But, what it is, is this Ultim Little Beauty right here. With the biochip sitting on top. Not included. Let's see some pictures, and guess what? Let's do this. Alright guys, now I don't really know a lot about this company. Now, like I said, it is out of Italia, or Italy, or that's a spicy meatball. Well, maybe not that. But, it is RSS Mods, and this is the Circa, I believe you would call it, or the Cirque, or the Circa. I believe it's the Circa. Now, it is, it's very nice, okay? It is very nicely made. It is super high-end. It, it, it falls into the category of... My, you know, I had a review recently that was the DB, DBD mods, and it was a stab wood mod. It's in that tier of high end. Now, there are some things I don't like about this, but yes, it is handmade, and it is made by one person, from what I understand. Now, I will drop down to the table, kind of give you a little look around ski, like a look ski, and, you know, just give you a better look of what it is. Now, it is a DNA 75, not DNA 75C. And it's not an older mod from what I understand. It is kind of newer, but you can get it in other options as well, whether that's DNA 75C or DNA 75. But we'll drop down to the table. I'll give you a quicker, better look. And uh, yeah, let's do this. All right, guys. So this is the packaging the little gem ski itself comes in. And it's just like a twine-esque type bag with a twine little rope for the drawstring. Drawstring tight. Very nice. Now, what would have made this one step better would have been if they would etch maybe their logo in here somewhere, maybe RSS mods with their logo. That would have made this very nice, nice little touch, super high-end type deal. But they didn't, so we we'll just have to move on. Well, what they include next is some battery wraps, a plethora of battery wraps, and that's a pretty nice touch. They're clear and they are labeled um, positive, negative. And it's going to say RSS Mods with the negative and the positive. Not a bad touch. Super nice. Um, you know, very nice little thought. Alright, so let's take a look at the little gem ski itself. Now, you're going to see it's all Altum. And the first thing you're going to notice is this rather large cutout for the squonk. And it, it's not bad. It, it's very unique. And, you know, the bottle looks nice right there with this. This orange bottle suits this nice. Now... If you can get an Altum bottle, it would actually look very nice in this as well. Something I want to point out first before we go any further is this button right here is actually a lot higher than this button. And that's something that really should have never happened and it's something that he should have fixed before he sent this out. You know, that's very disappointing and, and this is such a high-end mod, you think that they would have really, really fixed that. So taking a look at the top, see if I can get it in the light a little bit is this logo right here. It's very nice. It's the same logo that's on the battery wraps. Uh, it's very nice looking, you know. A uh, nice little classy touch. Now, right here you're going to have your uh, Sunbox 510. you got the O-ring right here to prevent a little bit of e-juice coming out. Now, I will say this is one of the driest 510s I've ever used. And what I mean by that is you can squonk and it doesn't really leave any e-juice around it. So, I, that's a good thing. I really like this 510. And I actually had no prior... Uh, experience with this 510 and I really like it. Um, something I did not show you that it comes with is this Allen key and that's gonna let you manually adjust this up and down and that I really like manually adjustable 510s especially when I use something like this which is the biochip and the 510 on this is very very um, not protruded it's very very flat and, and it sometimes doesn't work on mods but it works on this one uh, very well so let's take a look at the bottom, and here's something that a lot of people maybe will not like, and that's going to be these uh, these battery caps and bottle cap. Now you'll see they're very the threading on these are super nice, um, some of the nicest threading I've ever used. Uh, no problems with getting them in and out, super easy, super quick. 
Now this is the one I wanted to show you guys and you'll see that I'm actually doing this with uh, my fingers so it's actually that much smooth. Now you'll notice how nice, nicely done this Ultim is on this brass uh, battery cap. No glue, nothing protruding out. It's very, very nice, you know. He did a very good job on this one. Now you're going to see the one for the battery. Not so well done, and it's actually kind of disappointing, you know. It's something that it, I could fix myself. This is residue from glue that came out from underneath. But if you look at the difference between this one and this one, they're night and day. And, you know, if you're going to put that much effort to make this one nice, you know, you should really put the effort to make this one nice as well. I mean, look how disgusting and dirty that is. Yes, I could take some... Um, nail polish remover and really clean that up but that's not my job to do that and as a high-end device you know if you want to do something like this you, you really gotta clean that up so that's something I really wanted to show you guys now taking a look at the rest of the mod you're gonna have Cirque or Cirque Circa right there really nicely engraved really smooth Altum right here where you put your hand it, all together a really nice looking device now something I really don't like about this is and it might happen right now when you pull that bottle out just like that, because this is rubber, this will happen. Um, the threads are rubber, this is rubber, or silicone rather. Uh, I don't like that. That's not a very good design. And, you know, as much as I do like this bottle, as it is a sunbox bottle, that is a flaw in the design of this. As you can see, the threads are rubber. Now taking a look up in here, this will be the last thing I show you guys about the mod. Right here you'll see that there's a lot of glue, extra residue of glue. And when I first got this device, there was actually glue all over this uh, this squonk pin right here. And that's very disappointing. You know, if you're going to make a device, you got to just clean this stuff up. You just can't leave a glob of glue right there and glue all over here where I put my bottle and my e-juice goes through. So, I had e-juice running over glue going up into here. And I'm vaping that. That's just unacceptable. You can't leave glue like this, and you can't leave glue hanging off your 510 before you sell something. Very disappointed with that, and I just, I had to tell you guys that. So, something different about this is it's going to be negative down, positive, well, I guess it's going to be positive up, or negative up, positive down. That's something you don't really see on a lot of devices. And I will show you that this is smooth. Now, I am doing it in a camera, so, you know, don't give me shit, but the threads of this are actually quite smooth and they go on quite nice it's actually already threaded itself as you can see so I will give them that the threads on this are super nice all the machining on this thing are very very nice it's just those key things they need to clean up the glue the buttons need to be the same thing the same height and maybe fixing up this you know just those are some things they really need to look into before they put out another mod um, that being said, guys, I'm going to show you a little bit about the board. Something a little bit unique about this thing is when you actually put it on standby mode, it's going to say, take it easy, man, only press five times, lol. Now, that's something a little bit unique and nice about this mod, is they went a little bit above and beyond to make the, you know, pause screen or the hold screen, lock screen, uh, a little bit unique, so I will give them that. That is nice. Now, it is a DNA 75 uh, old board, and I will not be going over the board just because, you know, you should know a little bit about it by now. It's been out for a while. Also, I would like to mention that, you know, this is not a proprietary bottle system, and, and you could use just about any bottle in here. This is a BFX bottle, which goes with the Palm BF. It actually fits up in there quite nice, so I would imagine you can use most BFX bottles. Uh, Lucos bottles should fit in here, uh, cheapo bottles will fit in here, and it helps that you have this, uh, ba this uh, squat bottle cap, because it'll actually help you adjust the height to any bottle, you know, it, you can put it up and down, whether the bottle's smaller, larger, and one last thing I really didn't mention was, the 510 on here is silver plated, along with it is, uh, you know, a Sunbox uh, 510, which I did say earlier, but I just thought, thought that I would re-mention that. Um, and like I said, that's a 24, and you have a little bit of room left for about a 25. So, let's go back up on top, guys. Alright, guys, I'm going to try to keep this short, sweet, and to the mother effing point. Mother effing point. Alright, so, you know, before I start off, as always, if you guys like good e-juice, or maybe you just like some stuff, like some cotton, or maybe just some juice, if you want to get 20% off your whole purchase at Premium Vape Supply, use my discount code, MTN20, whether that's here... <laughs> Or here. 
or maybe here or here and get 20% off your whole purchase. Yeah, I said it, your whole purchase. So, you know, one last thing as I've been doing recently is shouting out, you know, a couple groups on Facebook, whether that's Squonk America, Squonktopus, or Rock Bottom Vapes. You check those groups out, you're gonna find good people. Uh, you can find some good products that are hard to get, whether that's high end, or some juices, or even like the latest, greatest cotton. Go check them groups out. You can find some good people, great conversations, all that stuff, yada yada. You know what I'm saying. All right, so I'm gonna start off with some negatives, and there's a couple negatives to this device. Okay, so the first negative to me, I don't like the bottle it came with. The bottle it came with, where it's not a bad bottle, and it feels like a nice bottle, and it is a sunbox bottle. Sometimes when you're putting your finger here to pull down on that little rubberized part up there, the bottle will disconnect from the uh, cap. And that's because, you know, they're both rubber. The cap's rubber, the threads are rubber, and the bottle's rubber. So it's not exactly my favorite bottle. Where it is not a cheap bottle, it's just not my favorite. The next negative is going to be the fact that, like I showed you below, the buttons <clears throat> on this are not the same length. Now, that's really disappointing because this thing's not cheap. Those buttons should all be the same same length, no matter what it is. A DNA 75 has three buttons. A fire, a left, or right, up and down rather. The up and down should be the same length. They don't have to be the same length as the fire button, but they should be the same length as each other. The up and the down button, or the left and the right, however you want to say it. So that's a negative to me just for the price. The price of this, that's just unacceptable. Uh, the next negative is going to be up where the bottle meets up where the squonk pin is, the bottom part of the squonk pin that you put your bottle into. There was glue all over that, and that's when I first got it. Yes, I did remove that glue, and you'll see the glue, like I showed you below, is very sloppily put on there in my opinion. Now, I don't make mods. I don't know what it takes to make a mod, but you don't have to be that messy. You can make it clean, nice, and neat, and if you have a high-end device, it should never be that messy. I'm going to leave it at that and you know that's a negative. The last negative to me personally is the bottle cap and the battery cap. You know they're outdated styles but you always find them in high end. I don't know what it is maybe that's just the only way to make a high end is to do these kind of connections. Now the way they've done it yes they did cover the caps with Altum to make it match the mod. But this is going to kind of lead into the same negative. They did one cap very well. Can't see any of the glue. Very nice. Makes it look nice, neat, fly fitted. Then the other cap, disgusting, dirty, glue all over it. I just don't get it. You're a high-end device. You're charging 500 plus. What are you doing? Don't do that. you got to clean your shit. You know, that makes me angry. And I don't want it to happen to you guys. You know what I mean? Whereas that could have been easily cleaned up with some you know acetone or whatever you use nail polish remover so that's a negative and the last um, subjective negative is going to be it's a DNA 75 now personally to me that's not a negative I do like the DNA 75 and I, I like the board still and that's pretty relevant because I use the DNA 75 on a daily basis whether that's with the VTN box or just certain devices that I have that are still DNA 75. So that may be a negative to some of you, but I guess you can get a DNA 75C if you want it. All right, so let's talk about the positives. Okay, the first positive is, is, the first positive is, I really like the 510 system in this. The Sunbox 510 to me, it's been a really good 510 system. No liquid underneath my mod or underneath my RDA at all. That's been an issue with some recent Squonk mods I've had. You know, especially the BMM boxes that I've had, it just seemed like I couldn't do anything without getting e-juice all under the RDA, leaking out the sides from underneath, where the 510 meets with the RDA 510. And that's something that I really look for now when I buy a mod. Will it be very, very sealed underneath, or does it leak? I haven't had any e-juice under here, and actually I can take this off and kind of show you there's no no liquid at all I don't know if you can really see it because my camera's not focusing but it's it's dry down there and that's something I really like about this in that 510 system I like that it's manually adjustable and it's different because you use an allen key which isn't bad I think it's a good system um, personally I do like the DNA 75 and I like it with an 18650 battery I don't like the DNA 75 C with an 18650 battery too much 
but I do like the DNA 75C with a 21700. So I'm glad they kind of went this way with the DNA 75 rather than the 75C. Um, I like the ergonomics of it. The ergonomics, whether you're left-handed, right-handed, it's very nice firing it, very nice squonking with it, whether it's this finger, you know, all the fingers. I like the design up there with their little logo, which I showed you below. Can't really show you now because it won't really focus. Um, like I said, there are some negatives to this, but this is more of a collector's piece. It's something you would have in your collection, use every once in a while. Now, if you had the extra cash, do I recommend you buying it? Here's the thing, guys. If it comes with all the issues that mine has, I would say no. If the buttons are right on yours and he cleans up the glue inside and the glue on the caps, then yeah, I can recommend that. But that's something you're going to want to ask him before you buy it. You know, kind of clean that stuff up and this would be a gem of a mod. This thing would be an absolute gem. Now, they do have Stabwood and they have Altum. Now, I don't know what other options there are, but I have talked to him a little bit. And if you know of a, of a certain material you like... I think he'll work with you to make that that material type mod. Well, that was the Circa guys by the by RSS Mods out of Italy. Kind of indifferent, you know. I use it a lot, but I use it at home. So you know, you got to make your decision on this. If it comes how mine came, I don't really recommend you to spend the extra cash, just because you know when I spend that much on a mod, I expect it to be perfect. I expect it to be showcase type, and this is just off the mark a little bit. Um, but that being said, guys, remember that we have our live show every Monday with me, Eric the Vaping Politician, Mr. William from Cooper's Vaping View, and a special guest. I do really appreciate you guys watching, giving me that uh, extra time of your day to see what I'm putting out, what I'm trying to show you. But yeah, um, let me hear some of your thoughts about the cons I said about this device in the comments below, and I'll discuss it with you. Let's do this.